anyway, had a big, uh, big dad and mom weekend. It was Easter weekend. And, um, my daughter's hilarious. We went over to this, this church and they had this Easter egg hunt and it was awesome. You know, this older guys on the mic, you know, one of those guys that's involved in the neighborhood, but you know, can put a few away, you know, guy's guy, right? He's on the mic. We all do the bunny hop. Bump, 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 right? Hopping across the parking lot. Son and daughter, everybody's having a great time. The kids are having a great time. Beautiful day. Everything's awesome. And, um, you know, the, the Easter bunnies there and stuff. Definitely looking like it was on a plant-based diet, you know? I know Santa Claus is supposed to be fat. Is the Easter bunny supposed to be a little fat too? This one looked a little, little skinny, right? So anyway, we do the Easter egg hunt and all of that type of shit. Everybody's having a good time. There's always a couple of psycho parents like, like coaching their kids on how to get the most eggs. It is like, oh, God, what are you, a banker? Who gives a shit? <laughs> Talking to your kid like it's the beginning of Survivor. Um, yeah, I saw someone doing that. Everybody's going to stop, but you go deep. You go deep into the, into the field. That's where all the eggs are. The kid's sitting there like fucking talking to like a three-year-old, five-year-old or something. It's hilarious. Anyway, so we have a great time. 99.9% everybody over there was fucking great. And um, so we ended up going home. And my daughter says to me, you know, I asked her if she had fun. And she was like, yeah. And I go, I go, that's great. I'm glad you had a good time. She goes, yeah, but that wasn't the real Easter Bunny. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, and I just looked at her. And she goes, you know how I knew? And I said, how? And she said he was wearing shoes. <laughs> she goes, Easter Bunny doesn't wear shoes. So me and my wife are like crying, laughing, not trying to like give the whole thing away. And then I went back and looked at the video and the dude or the woman in the, the fucking bunny suit, um, they had a white bunny suit on with like black fucking sneakers, like ref shoes, like walking around. And every kid, you know, it's weird enough that, you know, you're looking at this thing that's supposed to be a rabbit and they already know what a rabbit looks like. And this thing's you're walking around on two fucking legs, you know. And you, you're, you're as skinny as flamingo legs. That doesn't help. And then you're walking around in ref shoes. It actually made me feel good because um, I know some kids get really upset at the end of this shit when they find out, you know, just wait a minute, wait a minute. I should have said something before anybody's listening to this with your kids. If you're listening with your kids, you're crazy. But if you are listening to this with your kids, just don't listen to the next thing I'm going to say. When you tell them that some, okay, some of these things are not real, all of these things, uh, from the tooth fairy to the currency that you put under, under the pillow, none of it's fucking real. Um, the fact that you actually have somebody walking around a bunny rabbit suit with sneakers on, you know, I guess my, my daughter ever gives me shit about it. I'm just going to say that to her and just be like, look, you said when you were five, you knew it wasn't real because it was wearing shoes. All right. I don't know why. It's just something you do. You like seeing your kids get excited and you just, li- I don't know, you just lie about it. I don't know. Why, why do we do that? What is, the, what is the reason for all of this shit? The fucking tooth fairy and all of this crap? Why make up all this magical horse shit? You know what it was? Because when they came up with it back in the day, I think parents didn't have iPads. If they had iPads, they wouldn't have had to fucking make up all of this dumb shit to, to make your kid go to bed. You know, you could just hand them an iPad and have them do whatever. Um, oh, you know what's a hard thing to do? Is to be the cool guy not looking at his phone and like wanting to get recognition for it. It's really difficult because you're the cool guy not looking at your phone and everybody else is looking at their phone. So then you're sitting there and it's like the George Costanza moment where he wants to get credit for the big tip and he didn't. So he reaches back in to pull it out again and then they think he's stealing. Sort of like that. Is it like that? I don't know. Um, anyway, why am I yawning this much? Um, uh, Dad, I could tell he wasn't the Easter Bunny because he was wearing shoes. <laughs> I mean, what do you say to that? I almost spilled all the beans. That was like the smoking gun. I almost said, all right, there's no Santa Claus either. There's no fucking tooth fairy. You know, there's no gold behind our currency. You know, Jesus existed, but whether or not he was a prophet, I didn't even think he was white. You know, I don't know what he was. The the man had pigment, though. I can tell you that. And, you know, if you listen to Nas, I'm sure he'll say he's from Africa. But then other people say we're all from Africa. And then Neil deGrasse Tyson said we came from the tree or the water or some shit. I don't you know what? I don't know anything. Okay, other than that, I love you.
There you go. How's that? Is that a good way to say there's no Santa Claus? All right. Overrated, underrated. Underrated. Easter. People tend to overlook this holiday, but I can't think of a lower rent slash higher luxury than Easter. I don't need to buy gifts. I'm old enough to blow off church. I get a huge meal out of it, and the weather is getting nicer. People enjoy it way more than they know, unless they're Jewish, and they're like, oh, Jesus. (laughs) Shout out to other religions doing their thing this time of year, almost like they all came from the same uh, ancient tales. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we're all this fucking same as stupid.